Hello lovelies. It's hashtag things we're making Thursday time again. And um, yes, I'm in the lounge at the moment because um, there's a little bit of work going on upstairs and it'd be a bit noisy next to the yarn barn. So I'm doing this, this one here as it's a quick one in the lounge. So yes, hashtag things we're making Thursday. And uh, it's all Melanie at Lathalia's little, is it Lathalia's little crochet hook? If I've got that wrong, I'm sorry, but I will put her link below with all the other creators that are taking part. I went over and saw Mel's um, video. Uh, I think it was uh, March's video. And I saw it sort of, almost middle to the end of March, between the middle and the end of March. And they were doing three cushion covers and there was one with all the bobbles on. And I thought, oh, I've got to make at least one have a go. So I started in March and I've got a cushion done um, and it's in my previous video if you want to have a look. Um, and now we're doing um, the Greek Goddess Wrap by Caitlin's contagious creations and it's an absolutely lovely pattern and the yarn I'm using I am absolutely in love with I adore this yarn you can't see any of the colour now you can only see the cream but it's premier anti-pilling butterfly um, I'm on my second cake now and I'll show you where I've got. there'll be some photos at the end as well to show you where I've got to so this is it folded up at the moment but as you can see you see the colour starts then you get the cream and I'm just about finished the colour again on this one but there you go I'll double it up and I will just take that along there for you to see but isn't it lovely I think it looks absolutely fabulous in this yarn. But I've seen other people's and it's just amazing, isn't it? All the different yarns used and the colours. And it's this is just such a super idea. Each month they have a new pattern for us to do, to try. Um, and I believe you can dip in and dip out. You don't have to do every month because there's obviously going to be things that I've had a look at the previous months and I think January's I don't think I would have been that keen on but I might go back and do February the basket the owl basket at some point I have a yarn bin upstairs with all my partly used I don't like to call them scraps it's not scrap yarn because it's good yarn I've, I've got my um my leftovers <laughs> um and I could put quite a few of them together and get a basket made and then put an owl on the front. I think that would look lovely. It'd be nice in my yarn barn. Um, so I might go back and do that at some point when I've got some more whips done. But yeah, I am absolute. This pattern is so easy to do. I haven't found it challenging at all. And I absolutely love it. And there's a little bit of texture in it. and. It's just lovely. It's just lovely. And this yarn makes it really nice and soft. It's going to be a lovely wrap and this one's going to be for me. I love it so much because the yarn um, was gifted to me by my Yarny Fairy Godmother. Um, there are videos far back on my channel that will show you that. So this is going to be my lorry hug because um, she gifted me the yarn and I needed to make a lovely wrap. That would mean every time I wrap myself up in it, I think of her and her kindness in gifting me this yarn. Now, I'm on my second cake and I think I've got about one and a half more patterns to do. Let me see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think there's six patterns to do. So if I don't have enough in this, I have actually bought myself another 
opaque just in case I'm a little worried I might not I might not get enough out of this so one two three well, I don't know I might I might have enough in this but then it means I've got a a, a cake of that yarn to um remember I didn't mind buying another I spent I paid a lot of money for it in this country but I don't mind because it's oh it's just gorgeous this yarn I'd like 20 cakes of it I love it that much it's such a beautiful a beautiful beautiful yarn so yeah but I am really enjoying the hashtag things we're making Thursday and uh, it means that I have a nice little video to keep going on Thursdays. Um, I, I don't particularly want to do a video every day um, but if something comes up and I can do a video uh, each day then I will try but if I don't it's not a problem. I'm not going to have you know Mondays I do this, Tuesdays I do that. I, I can't I can't commit to that and I don't like being that ordered, not, not with working full time and everything. But I am really loving this uh, crochet along. It's lovely and it's lovely seeing what everyone makes. And we've just been emailed, all the new people that have started, we've just had a fabulous um, email with all the information and all the links to all the channels that are taking part. So in the description box below, you'll see all the links to every channel and content creator that are taking part. And you can pop along and go and have a look at them. And I also put it on my community tab uh, on my channel uh, as a shout out to all those channels asking people to pop along and show them some yarny love. Give them some thumbs up and watch some of their videos and subscribe and support our wonderful community like you always do. So there you go. There'll be a couple of photos at the end. And as I said, all the information in the description box below. Thanks for coming over again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here and supporting me. And take care of yourselves. Look after your health. Have a nice little bit of um, crafting time. Something that you like to give yourself a few little moments just for you. It's so important. Take care of your health, as I said, and always be kind. Try and give everyone a kind word. Don't know what their walk in life is. Take care. Love you loads. See you on the next one.